This is my super sensitive USSR multimeter, and I also have this brick. But when I put the brick up to the probe, oh my god, everything is conductive on this. Glass is conductive, what? same as rubber, even a dry paper towel, and of course, Air? What is going on? Well, I hooked up the multimeter to one of those voltage testing screwdrivers. They light up when you place them next to insulated live wires. But this setup is on a whole different level of weird. Like it's breaking physics. At first I didn't understand why this was happening, but then I realized. If I touch the table, the reading increases what? despite no physical connection. And then if I move my feet closer to the ground, the meter goes up even higher. <laughs> I can literally move my legs up and down to change the meter's reading. But but this gives us an important clue to what's going on. I think this is something called capacitive coupling. <laughs> that means I'm a giant capacitor. It's similar to how electric charges gather on surfaces like a balloon or in this case my body, and sometimes the charges can transfer to other objects from quite a distance away. But I tried slowly moving the charged balloon up to it, and while the needle jiggled around a bit, it didn't actually increase much. However, when I suddenly start moving the balloon, it jumps around sporadically. This is very different to my hand, which increases it, but stays stable. That means this balloon has a static, non-moving electric field until I move it, while my body is a bit different. Maybe Electroboom can explain this, but let's test this coupling theory anyway. If I wrap myself in a power cord plugged in but turned off, this should capacitively ground myself to remove the charges in my body, and making it no longer move. Look at that! I'm no longer charged! Even simply grasping a power cord in my other hand makes the needle go down too, and it rises back up immediately when I let go. This tells us it must have something to do with invisible charges or <laughs> electromagnetic fields my body is absorbing from around me. Do I have the power of Zeus in my hands? So why did the glass rod seem to conduct electricity anyway? Well, first let's put the glass rod against the probe, and this is our normal movement. Remember this. Now let's run my finger along the side and see what happens. Whoa, wait, what? The microscopic layer of moisture on the glass from my finger has given it much stronger conductivity. Rotating the glass rod makes it freak out every time it passes the spot I touch like it remembers. To prove it's moisture doing this, I breathed on it. Oh god, okay. The glass is still an insulator, but the tiny layer of moisture turns it into a weak conductor. What I can't explain though, is why all this worked while the multimeter wasn't even switched on at the power board this whole time. It wasn't even using 1% of its full power. 